Hi, my name's Megan. Over the past year, I've lost almost 50 pounds. And no, I'm not following a special diet, and I've never tried to lose weight. The thing is, I don't feel hungry at all. How come? This is exactly what I'm going to tell you about today. Watch this video to the end and support me with likes, please. Here we go. As long as I can remember, I've always loved eating. There are probably some parents you know who constantly complain their kid doesn't eat anything and they have to feed him by force. Well, my mom and dad have never had such problems. I ate everything and I loved any food. I even asked for more. My mom couldn't get enough of it. She always bragged about my appetite to her friends. When I was a kid, I always had plump cheeks. Adults enjoyed squeezing them. Even when I got older, I still enjoyed eating my mom's food. I also went to cafes with my friends after classes. I also had lunch in the school cafeteria. I was lucky I had an excellent metabolism. So my love for food didn't threaten me with some extra pounds and hours of hardcore workouts in the gym. My friends were jealous. I was eating three times more than them and I didn't get fat. I just laughed and continued eating burgers with fries and washing it down with a Coke. I realized there was too much delicious food in the world and I wanted to try everything. For example, I decided one day I would definitely go on a European gastro tour. Plus, I wanted to learn to cook delicious food myself. When I was a teenager, I helped my mom in the kitchen. Then I searched recipes myself and cooked them. Sometimes I succeeded. Sometimes I didn't. I liked Italian food the most. Pizza, pasta, salads, and desserts. I could stand for hours in the kitchen, creating another gastronomic masterpiece. Therefore, when I graduated from school, I decided I wanted to become a professional chef. So no one was surprised. My parents said with my talents and interests in experimenting in the kitchen, I have every chance to become a first-class chef and even open my own restaurant. This is exactly what I've always dreamed of. College studies seemed too easy for me. My friends complained about too much homework and workload. As for me, after classes, I did my homework and then cooked delicious food for myself and for all my friends. Anyway, my life got better and better. But one day, it changed into before and after. I happened to have a strange sickness. Let me explain. It was an acute violation of blood circulation in the brain. One or another center of the brain suffers from it. This thing may happen at an early age, either because of heredity or because of some injuries, car accident, for example. In my case, I think it was all about genes. It took me a while to notice something had gone wrong. I attributed my severe fatigue to the fact I was working as a cook's assistant in a small restaurant in parallel with my studies. I thought I was just overloaded. My right hand often felt numb. I thought it was because my bed in the dorm was uncomfortable. But one morning, I woke up and I couldn't move either my right arm or my right leg. I got really scared. I immediately wanted to ask my roommate to call an ambulance. But then I found out I couldn't talk. I somehow explained to my frightened roommate I needed some help. By the time the doctors arrived, I completely didn't feel the entire right side of my body. And I couldn't say a word. Of course, they immediately put me onto a stretcher and took me to the hospital, as every minute counted. After the medical examination and tests, the doctors came to the conclusion they were dealing with damage to the left insular lobe. That's part of the cerebral cortex that is responsible for space perception and taste signals processing. So, the future chef and a person who enjoys eating delicious food suffers from brain damage and has problems with taste perception. Quite ironic, right? But at that moment, I didn't feel funny. The doctors quickly managed to find the right treatment. A week later, I started feeling better. But this week has been a real hell for me. I thought I would never be able to talk and walk normally again. And I thought all my dreams would be wasted. And I would become a burden for my parents for the rest of my life. Anyway, I don't wish anyone to experience the fear and horror I had. After a couple of weeks, I was finally released from medical treatment. I decided I'd stay at my parents' place to continue my treatment and rehabilitation by myself. I continued to take medication the doctors prescribed. At first, I still felt very weak. 
but the doctors warned this was okay. But even the experts couldn't assume my sickness would have a side effect. I discovered it a few months after I'd been released from medical treatment at the hospital. Well, I'd been living with my parents for two months. And then I returned to college and continued working as an assistant cook in a restaurant. Things got back to normal, until I noticed my work clothes were too big for me. After I carefully examined myself in the mirror, I found I had lost a lot of weight since my sickness had started. When I was standing on the scale, I was horrified. It turned out I had lost almost 20 kilograms without even noticing it. But how come? I mean, like, I ate as usual. Only when I thought about my diet, I realized I wasn't eating as usual. In fact, after my release, I have never experienced the feeling of hunger. That's why I missed meals from time to time. After all, why should I eat if I don't want to? Besides, for the first month, it seemed to me these were just the consequences of my sickness and fatigue. Then I just got used to it. My body also didn't give me any signals I was hungry. There was no rumbling in the stomach and no feeling of nausea. Apparently, I started rapidly losing weight just because I forgot to eat. I didn't know how dangerous this side effect was for my health. So I decided to ask the doctors about it. The doctors were seriously interested in my case. They said they hadn't previously encountered such a thing in their practice. They didn't find anything about this side effect in the medical literature either. Again, I went to the hospital for medical tests and examinations. As a result, the examination showed that my lack of appetite and hunger were the consequences of the brain attack. It turned out the part of the brain evaluating the physiological state of the body had been affected by the disease. Thus, my brain couldn't just adequately assess the feeling of hunger. In simple words, no matter how hard my stomach gave signals that I was hungry and it would be nice to eat, my brain just wouldn't listen to it. The brain thought everything was fine, and my body still functioned because sometimes I had lunch or dinner with someone just for the company, without feeling hungry and without having a strong appetite. The doctors didn't promise that this part of the brain would be fully restored. They advised me to just watch whether the feeling of hunger would return or not. Now, almost a year has passed since my sickness had started, but my appetite still hasn't returned. During this time, I've already lost 50 pounds. Honestly, I'm afraid to look at myself in the mirror. I've never been a fatty, so the lost pounds turned me into just a skeleton covered in skin. The people at the restaurant where I work forbid me to see the visitors because the restaurant owner believes the cook should be in good shape. Not like me. Now I'm trying to restore my nutrition. I set reminders and try to eat on time. My menu is well balanced in terms of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. I cook myself and I use the products I love. They are helpful for my body. Sometimes I still forget to eat because of my work and studies. I can remember I haven't eaten anything all day long just before going to bed, so sometimes I eat at night. Recently, I've signed up for a gym because I think exercise can help me gain muscle mass and a good shape, since I have problems in gaining weight anyway. The most offensive thing is this ridiculous consequence of the disease has deprived me of the main pleasure in my life, eating. I used to adore delicious food, but now I just don't care. Even my favorite dishes no longer bring me joy. Tell me, are you a foodie? Do you often feel hungry? Do you always follow a diet and eat right? Would you be able to live like me without feeling hungry at all? Text your answers in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed my story and that you're going to click thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as there are many interesting stories for you ahead. Click the bell button to always stay tuned. Bye bye Take care.